check one, two, check one, two, three, four, check one, two, one, two. Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. Welcome to another DIY video today. You know, a while back, this was, I don't know, a year or two ago, I did a video where I took the rotary dial section out of a phone and I turned it into basically a guitar pedal. <laughs> You know, that was kind of a fun little trick that I did. I ended up giving that away in one of my giveaways. But anyway, I found the handset to the phone. I'm not even sure if this is, this could be a different phone, but the point is I have the handset here and uh, I'm gonna try to make two microphones out of this today. Now, I know you've all seen that video where, I mean, there's a few of them out there on the web where someone takes this and they basically take the microphone section out, put a quarter inch jack down here and then they turn the speaker into a microphone and they make this into a lo-fi mic. I'm gonna do that but then I'm gonna to try to repurpose the microphone down here to make something else, another microphone. So I'm gonna to try to make two microphones out of this telephone handset. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so for this first part, I'm gonna need the handset, of course. I'm gonna need, this is a 10K pot. This is a B10K, so that would be, uh, is that an audio taper? Geez, I always get that confused. No, that's a uh, linear taper. And then this is a standard quarter inch mono jack. And I've got a little extra wire in case I need it. And that should be all I need. Uh, of course, got a couple tools here, wire cutter, wire stripper. Got my drill over here and a couple of drill bits. This is a 3 8 and this is a 5 16 Let's do this. Okay, so real quick, I just did a, a test of the circuit here. So I've taken um, the green wire that's in the phone, sent that to ground, the white wire sent that to positive. And what I'm doing is I'm going to the pot here, which by the way, I changed out the 10K pot for a 250K pot. I think that'll work a little better. 10K is just not a lot of resistance for volume. So what I've done here is I've got coming off the mic going into the middle, then the the right side of the jack going out to the positive, or excuse me, the right side of the pot going out to the positive of the jack, left side going to the negative of the jack, and of course the negative also going over to the negative of the jack. And what happens is, if I talk here, hopefully you can hear that it's plugged into the little amp. And then if I turn this all the way the other way and I talk, we don't get any sound at all. So that's what we want. So let's go ahead and uh, wire this thing up. Okay, let's test it. Let's plug it in and check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check. And if we turn it down, of course, check one, two, check, we don't get any sound. Perfect. There we go. We've made our first of two mics out of the handset. That was the easy one. Now for the tough one. Okay, so now for the hard part. So these microphones are actually carbon mics. And carbon mics have a very unique sound to them, but the problem is a carbon mic cannot work without power. Basically, I'm gonna have to put power into this microphone. So I looked these up and apparently um, these original carbon mics would use like between five and 20 volts um, that the, the phone would supply to power them. So I think a nine volt battery should work. So what I'm gonna try to do is hook this up with a nine volt battery and power it. But then I have to strip the DC current out of the circuit before I send it to the jack. Cause you don't want to send a DC signal to your jack. I realize most amps are protected against that, but it's just, it's not a good practice to send nine volt DC right into the input jack of your amp. So I have over here a few audio transistors, uh, different types and whatnot. And I'll see if I can find one where I can remove that DC offset with an audio transistor. So this is going to take some prototyping, but uh, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, I managed to solder a positive and negative on there. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Maybe you're not supposed to get this type of microphone hot at all, but I was very quick with the solder and just managed to get these wires. And these are actually the wires from the phone handset 
that I use here. So just for the sake of retro, let's see if we can dummy up a circuit. All right, so this isn't pretty, but let's take a look at what I did here for prototyping. So we've got the positive and the negative in the mic. Let's start here with the battery. So on the nine volt battery, the positive comes out of that and goes into the positive of the mic. Then the negative of the mic comes out and goes into the output transformer. And then the other side of the output transformer comes back to the negative of the battery. Okay. And then on this side of the output transformer, we're sending to the quarter inch output jack. So basically we're, we, the transformer should just be stripping that nine volt DC out of the circuit, I think. Okay, it looks like we've got signal. It's really feedbacky though. But that probably is a promising thing. Okay, the transformer I used is a TL030R um, TL030. So pretty common audio transformer. This is a balanced audio transformer, meaning it has the same amount of winds on the primary and secondary side. So in that case, it shouldn't matter which direction you point the P. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but there's always a P on your transformer for which side's the primary. It should matter because it's equal wind, so it should work uh, either way that you hook it up. Okay, so what I did here is I just put a little switch um, on the positive that's going from the battery to the um, microphone. Check one, two. Check one, two. All right, so there we go. So there's our switch. Okay, I think I got it dummied up here. Got the jack to the transformer and the transformer got the battery coming in here the switch right here of course and the mic okay getting closer here so i took and i wanted to be able to tell when it's on and when it's not so i took a little led hopefully i'm not sure how well i can get this up here but i've got a little led and a um 400 ohm resistor right there and i wired that into the circuit so when i click the jack on you should see the led light up Hopefully you can see that. It's definitely lighting up. I can certainly see it on my end. Okay, I found this cream cheese container in the recycle bin. I'm gonna see if I can make this work for mic housing. This may actually be one of the ugliest things I've made yet, but look at this. So you can see the mic there and I just super glued the mic and I cut a hole in this side and super glued the mic in there with some of this here uh, Gorilla Glue. And then you can see I mounted the jack over here, switch right here, LED right there. And uh, then on the lid, I just Velcroed the nine volt right to the lid with just a little strip of Velcro. And then let's see if you can see this here. The LED is right here. And let's see if I, when I turn it, you can see it light up. Hopefully the camera can see that. It's not very bright, but hopefully you can see right there that LED is lit. Check, 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 check. Obviously we got no sound because we're not on. Let's flip the switch on. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Definitely working. Yay. Okay guys, mission accomplished. What we set out to do is make two mics out of a phone handset and we've got the passive mic here with the volume pot and you would speak in here. And then we got the active mic here with the nine volt battery inside, the switch and the LED and uh, they both seem to work. So I guess the next thing is to do some high quality audio and record them. But I'll tell you what, I started this project really late and it's already dark out. I don't know if you can tell that from the ambient light, but it's already nighttime. But hey, we took a telephone handset that nobody's ever gonna use and we made two microphones out of it. And they're probably both lo-fi as heck, but we'll find out tomorrow. Don't pull your love out on me, baby. If you do, then I think that maybe I'll just lay me down and cry for a hundred years. Don't pull your love out on me, honey. Take my heart, my soul, and my money. But don't leave me to drown it in my tears. Don't pull your love out on me, baby. If you do, then I think that maybe I'll just lay me down and cry for a hundred years. Don't pull your love out on me, honey. Take my heart, my soul, and my money. But don't leave me to drown it in my tears. 
Okay, folks, just a couple final thoughts here on this project. So first of all, the handset mic here, this worked out great. I'm super pleased with this. Um, these uh, have a very cool sound. It tends to sound like a dynamic mic. It's very mid-rangey, um, not a lot of uh, high or low end, but they have like a cool lo-fi sound. And with the knob here, that's just kind of a neat little touch because uh, you can kind of fade it off and the quarter inch jack is perfect. So this was a great project. Now onto the carbon mic here. Um, I wasn't as pleased with this one. Now, carbon mics do tend to have a very nasally sound, like an upper uh, mid to treble sound, whereas the dynamic mics tend to be right there and smack in the middle of the mid-range. So um, I think that that came through, but there was definitely some distortion in there um, that, you know, I, I suppose within the right mix, it might work really well, but uh, that I wasn't expecting. And I heard some other clips with carbon mics that didn't have that. So I don't know if this microphone was just damaged from the beginning and that's why it's doing that, or if me soldering on the back and I heated it up too much and that damaged it and that's why it's doing it, or possibly um, maybe the transformer that I used in the circuit was not really well suited to it. Again, I just used what I had on hand. Um, could do some testing and find out if there's a better transformer, but I did meter the output just to be sure and it is stripping the DC voltage. I'm not seeing any DC voltage um, at the output. So. That's a good thing. But anyway, still, I think this is a cool project and it still has a cool sound, that kind of broken mic sound, if you will, um, that I think might come in handy in just the right uh, situation. So there you go. Took one old phone handset that everybody probably would have thrown away and I made not just one, but two microphones out of it. Hey, why not? So if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. I'll see you guys soon.